Now I know what you all are thinking. Mike, why are you talking about anti-bronies again? It's not like anybody cares. Well, someone in my circle has pointed out to me that it's still a big issue, especially against the brony groups. So I figure I might as well talk about anti-bronies some more. This time, I'm going to dive into, like, how certain anti-brony groups are different from others. Now, most, if not all, anti-brony groups are started because of a certain animosity towards bronies in particular. Sometimes there are people that are so annoyed by a certain brony's actions, they have no choice but to make a group to speak out against it. Like, if you're in a forum and you're having a very serious discussion about video games or movie debates or something like that and then you have that guy that posts ponies all the time that could very well lead to animosity towards that person and their friends because they're likely to do the same thing but that's only like one very non-specific example there are other things that bronies can do to take people off like some bronies expect so much from the show, they hold it in such high regard that they become what we in the fandom call bronyisms. Bronyisms are the type of bronies that are like the extreme bronies. Like they always tell people about the show, they try to make people watch the show, they preach love and tolerance, they hold everything in real, they pretty much hold real life to the high standards that is the show, they won't shut up, they have very deluded thoughts and behavior, stuff like that. If a group existed to stop the bronies that are psycho crazy, then I could totally see that. Or if there are anti-bronies that are diplomatic about it, like, tell the bronies, please, we understand you love the show, and we respect how you learn something from the show. We understand how the show helped you grow as a person. But please understand that you're kind of irritating people with this nonstop nonsense. Please tone it down. That is perfectly acceptable. What's not acceptable is the next kind of group. <music> Rabid anti-bronies are the ones that preach like... Like, you know, this typical hate stuff. Bronies f bronies. Bronies are f Bronies are the scum of the earth. Stuff like that. Those are the types of anti-bronies you don't want to associate with. They're the types that incite hatred. And if left unchecked, that hatred could spread in other things. Across some random G plus searchings, I found... found anti-brony groups that were also against Vor, Furries, and Five Nights at Freddy's. As the last thing we want to do is devolve ourselves to the point where we're raiding each other's houses with pitchforks and torches. Kind of like this one operative informed me that some of the brony groups on G+, have been raided multiple times. There are some brony groups that my operative is in, and I will not disclose them. And this person, let's call him Randone, uh, has instructed me to report some of these anti-brony groups for like hateful and violent content towards a group, which in this case is bronies. So Randoni told me to report um, some of the anti-brony groups in particular because they are guilty of inflicting raids upon our groups and live streams. And then, while I was doing that, I did some research on other anti-brony groups. I found brony and anti-brony united groups, so I'm guessing it's like a Peace Corps kind of thing. I've also found this one group that really made me think about anti-bronies. These are the type of anti-bronies that are diplomatic about their thing. It's like, they don't conduct raids, they don't have a rabid attitude, they don't really hate bronies, they just don't tolerate like, bronyism, rabbit crap. It's like, they allow bronies into the group so long as they, like, you know, 
Oh, keep the pony stuff to a minimum and behave like a normal person. Look at their posts with an open mind and stuff. Because when you think about it, you have to take a step back and realize the grander scheme of things. Not all bronies are of sound mind. And there are some that will go to extreme measures like actually f***ing horses or or making cults or something like that. But the majority of us are of sound mind. We take the show in stride as like lessons to abide by in regards to morals and how life works and how to conduct ourselves as friends in the world, stuff like that. And we, get, and we get inspiration to make many creative things and do very many charitable things. But in the same vein, but in the same vein, we also have to realize that not all anti-bronies are rabid, riot-heavy, and closed-minded. Anti-bronies, there are a sled group that do want to kill the bronies. There are a sled group that want to ruin bronies' lives. There, wa there are a group that want the entire thing, like, extinct, you know? But, it's only like a small subset of anti-bronies, from what I've seen. There are anti-bronies out there that are diplomatic about it. They don't hate the show, but they don't want the show to ruin their lives until they're ready to experience it for themselves. Maybe they don't want to experience it for themselves, and that's okay. Because people should have the right to like and hate what they want. But... The only time I, the only time the line should be drawn and say don't cross it is when the things we like and hate are the ones that bring harm or punishment to other people. In conclusion, whether you like My Little Pony or you're okay with it or you absolutely don't like it at all, that's okay. I can respect that. And there are many nice people, many normal people, many people of all kinds that will respect you for your decision. Just don't go rabid. Acting upon your hatred in such a way that it brings harm to people or makes them desire to self-harm is not okay. No one should deserve to die for their beliefs. Thank you for watching. As Ellen DeGeneres would say, be kind to one another. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Ding ding dong, it's a filler song. Ring a ding dong, sing it all day long. Ring a ding a ding dong, we sing it at the end screen. Ding ding ding, it ain't so mean. Ding ding dong, it's a filler song. Also known as the end screen song. I haven't sung this song in so long. For a hundred likes, I wear a thong, I guess.